Let's find the mass of just one molecule of SO2. This is sulfur dioxide. So we want to know how much one individual molecule of SO2, what its mass is. To do that, all we really need to do is find the molar mass for the SO2, and then we just divide that by Avogadro's number here. That'll give us the mass of one molecule of SO2. So let's do that. If you calculate the molar mass of SO2, that ends up being 64.07, and the units are grams per mole. If you need help calculating the molar mass here, link at the end of the video. So we have our molar mass. Let's write that up here. And we said the units were grams per mole. And then we're going to multiply this by a conversion factor so we can get rid of moles and be left with grams. So we know that one mole of any substance is going to have Avogadro's number of particles. So let's just move that down here. And when we multiply, we have moles on the bottom and the top. They're going to cancel out. We'll be left with grams. So we know we've done this correctly. So really all we're doing is dividing 64.0 by Avogadro's number here. This just makes sure the units cancel out. When we do the math, we get 10.64 times 10 to the negative 23rd, the units, those are going to be grams. So that's the mass of one molecule of SO2. It's a small number because molecules are small. You could also write this like this. So that's it. This is Dr. B with the mass of one molecule of SO2, sulfur dioxide. Thanks for watching.